Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. We rarely find an honest politician, don't we? And uh, as of now, I have a Senator uh, Hawley. I think his name is Josh Hawley. And uh, I couldn't uh, find uh, yet any lies coming from that guy's mouth. Now, he's either a very, very good liar that I can't... Uh, no find him, um, uh, find wherever he lies, uh, or uh, he's not a liar and he's telling the truth, at least on the matters that I pay attention on. I made uh, two videos with uh, Senator Josh Hawley, one on the September 27th and the other one on October 1st. And both uh, videos that I made, I used the same um, interview. Was it? I think it was the same interview with him, where he comes very scared of... Uh, actually, there's, two, there's two, two different interviews I used, where he comes and he tells us that actually the Biden administration asks for... will ask in the near future for more than $100 billion in aid for Ukraine. M more than $100 billion. The United States already paid about $113 billion, he said in one of those videos. And uh, surprise, surprise, I have here the confirmation. That's exactly what Biden does in your name, if you're American, and in my name. So, uh, I think this is criminal, and I say it. Biden wants to ask Congress for largest aid package for Ukraine worth, you can read, 100 billion dollars. This is according to Ukrainska Pravda. How can we stop that? We can't. Supposedly, only the elected officials can stop that. The ones that you and I supposedly uh, voted for or against or by not voting for these guys who won. Only they supposedly can. So they're in charge. Now, do they ask the population? No, because this is, a, this is a representative democracy. Got that? You vote one time and these guys have a blank check that they will vote the way they want, regardless of how you want them to vote. Now, they tell us that, hey, no, you can do this, you can do that. Well, blah, blah, blah. By that time, they sent the billions. Joe Biden, president of the U.S., has an intention to turn to the Congress with a request to allocate the largest aid package for Ukraine worth up to $100 billion. The source, the source is a telegraph. Biden considers a one-and-done bill on finan financing the aid for Ukraine until the next presidential elections, trying to overcome an impasse with Republicans. He should not ask for anything. That's uh, how I see things. Some officials believe that adopting a single package of up to, I don't care if it's one package, 15 packages, half a package, 3,000 packages, I don't care. No. May give Biden's administration the best chance to facilitate the finance, financing of the aid for Ukraine before the presidential election set to be held in the U.S. next November. The idea about the, idea about the big package is firmly supported by many in the administration, a source familiar with the discussion reported. Republican leader Donald Trump, who uh, this guy's tried to get him out of the everything, and two other leading presidential candidates from the Republican Party have many times criticized Biden due to the providing Ukraine with aid, claiming that the money must be spent on internal priority priorities. Correct. Herewith, the support of Ukraine among Americans is also decreasing. According to two informed sources, the dismissal of Kevin uh, McCartney, Speaker of the Chamber of Representatives, House of Representatives, may make it more difficult for Biden to ask the Congress for... No, that doesn't make it. The U.S. administration representative told the Telegraph that the White House does not adopt any decisions on whether to make one big package and what the sum will be until the end of the elections for the new speaker who will replace McCartney, which will start on October 11th. Yet, the big package for financing the aid for Ukraine until November 2024 is one of the options that are being considered. Well, how about no? I don't care about any options. 
I, uh, I would uh, run certain things by referenda. You do uh, con you organize some referenda and you ask people what they want. And therefore you uh, bypass the weasels that you elected actually. I would do that in important matters. And you will be surprised if the referenda are conducted uh, fairly, um, then uh, you would be surprised how uh, things will uh, be up the opposite the elected officials want them, which is uh, the border security, the so-called aid to Ukraine, and uh, many, many other things in school, uh, certain promotion of certain idiotic uh, nonsense and so on, criminal, I would say. So, but they don't do that because they know. That's why we have nowadays this representative dem democracy the way it is. And you need tens of millions to get elected to an important position on, on, in this democracy. If you don't have money, well, people will uh, support you with money. Yeah, okay. That's the justification of the people working for them, not for people work for us. Um, again, it's, um, I remember when I was in, uh, in college here in the United States of America, I had a class of political science. I can't remember what exactly was a political science. And uh, they were talking about the Japanese system. And if, if I remember correctly, they had such a fair way of, of having access to people. So they were rotating, they were scheduling each candidate has uh, the same amount of representation, access to the uh, state-owned, um, I can't remember if it was also in the private, um, access to TV and the hours were, were, uh, were uh, hours and the days. So no one shows up only at prime time and the rest showed up at 9 a.m. You know, they were all shifting. I thought it was very, very clever. And I know it could be done here too, especially if we have two candidates. Uh, and the fact that we have two candidates, that's like another garbage tells you how easy it is to control only two sides. You don't need 50, you need just two. You put money on A and B. You have two horses. <laughs> uh, one of them is going to lose, one of them is going to uh, not lose, right? So you're going to put some money on this one, you're going to put some money on that, way. I, uh, that one. Either way, you're going to win somehow. Anyway, my friends, that's, but if you have 15 horses, you have to <laughs> bet on 15. So that means you're going to have only the reach of the rich doing that. So then that's not good either, is it? <laughs> anyway, man, don't send any more. Don't send any more. Stop that war. Go and discuss. Make peace. Bring the Ukrainian backs, uh, back to their country. Get rid of those guys who are in charge of the Ukrainian nation and uh, uh, you know, start a reconstruction. Well, it's easy to say it, but it's hard to do it. But I'm pretty sure uh, how they did it in uh, Iraq, they can do it here too. Thank you very much for being with me again today because they reconstructed Iraq. That's why. <laughs> stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.